Uh, well, listen, this fight got announced on, on like a month notice. Did you did you know longer that this was in the works, or did it you know did it come pretty short? I uh, know uh, Ronnie's name was uh, th uh, thrown in a little bit sooner than that, but so we knew we just uh, were trying to figure out a date. So I was uh, I was staying ready, and uh, everyone kept asking me is it short notice, but no, we knew we knew that we were going to fight each other. We were just like I said, trying to figure out a date, and I was I told my manager Jason House I want to be on that you know Australia card, so and, you know they got it done. So I'm super pumped to be here. I was going to ask you, so okay, so you knew the fight was coming. Why did you want to be in Australia? I mean, it seems like like the furthest place you could fly from the States and like the most time change and the most pain in the uh, ass yeah. to deal with. Why'd you want it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lot to deal with, uh, you know, with the travel and the wake up, but it's, I get to travel the world and, and do what I love. So why not take take advantage of that? You know, get, get to travel. I'm going to stay at a little bit afterwards, you know, for like a week and, and enjoy enjoy uh, Australia, man. I, I love doing this, and the best part of it is I get to travel. So I'm going to keep taking advantage of that every, every fight. You said you kind of knew that the fight was coming together, but give me an idea, I mean, how like focused and determined in the gym and aggressive, you know what I mean? Like before you had that contract signed, before you had that name, like did things kick up a notch? I mean, were you kind of doing a, a training camp even before it was finalized? I'm all, I'm always in the gym. That's you know that's what I love to do. I do that full time. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's always that switch. Once you sign that contract, there's always that switch and that focus. Kind of kind of you hit that. But I'm always in the gym. I wasn't worried about it, and, and you know I'm staying in, in better shape and. My weight's always low, so I'm always ready. What did you think about the matchup? Because obviously, I mean, the guy's been around, man. He's a veteran oh, of the sport, man. and you're kind of just making your way in. So when that was the name, were you surprised? Were you excited? What was the feeling? I was excited. I was definitely excited because he's 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 been fighting, I think, in the UFC like right as I started my MMA career. So he's been he's been at the game for a while. He had, you know he has a name. Uh, he's ranked top 15. Uh, this I, I feel like this is my coming out party. I, I finally. I get, I, I'm going to get approved what I can do in there, and I'm excited. What's it like to prep for such a specialist? I mean, that guy is so good at one thing, you know what I mean? What, what's it like? Do you, do you have to take your whole training camp and turn it around? I mean, what, what's it like to prep for that? Yeah, no, there, we, are, we obviously respect uh, Ronnie's uh, jiu-jitsu. You know, he, he, he has, he, he's done great things. He's coming off of three submission wins, but I train under Fabiano Scherner, and his jiu-jitsu is, is top-notch as well, so we've, we've, we we we're prepared. We're prepared. Last thing for me, I mean, this you are on a, on a great streak. This would be a huge win. Give me an idea. I mean, like I said, you're still relatively new, but a win like this, what do you think this does for you? Uh, I set a goal for myself to be to break that top 10 in 2019, and this is I'm right on track for that right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat Ronnie and then uh, hopefully get another another top-ranked opponent and, you know, hopefully be in uh, title contention by the end of this year. You mentioned your um, where you trained earlier. Do you train with um, Chell or do you share mats with him? <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, Chell, Chell's in over there at Gracie Baja as well. Do you, you guys actually train together? Or uh, I mean, we, we have we roll not in camp. I'm not rolling with oh. that big that <laughs> big brute uh, while I'm in camp <laughs> trying to get, not trying to get hurt. But yeah, we, we've uh, we've rolled a little bit, and uh, yeah, he, he's an awesome guy. Chell's uh, you know as as a as a quick witted and uh, as much of a smart ass he is on the mic, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. When you, first, when you start, when you met Chell, did you know him as a as a did you know him as a fan before, or was he guy just did you just know him in the gym? No, I, I actually uh, you know I would go to uh, wrestling tournaments when I was in high school, and I would I would like off season tournaments, and I would see Chell. Oh man, that's Chell, son, and walking in the gym, you know. So uh, yeah, yeah, I was definitely a fan before. And then I actually came up. He has a, a amateur promotion in Portland called uh, Rumble at the Roseland FCFF. Um, and I fought him there a few times, so I, I and I, I got to see him when I fought there a few times, and, and then eventually I became his teammate. And you know, he like I said, he's one of the nicest guys you know in the gym. How do you see the the top of the division at the moment? You know, it's uh, it's pretty wide open. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I feel like uh, there's a bunch of prospects coming in right now. I feel like our the bantamweight division right now is stacked, so there's, there's a lot of opportunities right now, especially with. Uh, you see some of the flyways coming up, so there's a lot of opportunities at Bantamweight right now. And uh, finally, from England, Australia, obviously, first time down here, what's it been like? Uh, what, what, what was that? Australia, how's it been so far uh, in it's, Melbourne? It's been great. It's snowing where I'm at, where I'm from right now, so it, it's cold over there. So I, I've been, you know, I've been, you know, I've been stunting on them, bragging, uh, and posting the, the sunny photos over here, so I, I've been loving it. I always like travel around and uh, try to find the best, best co coffee shops, and I've been able to do that over here. And yeah, I love it. Like I said, I'm staying an extra week, and, I, and I'm excited to maybe go go spend some time on the beach. And um, as a fan, um, who do you have winning the uh, main event? Uh, I'm super excited for that one. Both those guys are awesome, but um, I think I'm gonna go with uh, Kelvin. Kelvin. Yep. Any reason yeah. why? 
Uh, I'm just. Uh, I think he has some ties with our gym with Chell, and uh, I've, been, I've been a. I've been a fan. I've been a fan for a while too, and uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, just I'm excited for that fight. And how about for um, Anderson versus um, Izzy? Oh man, that, that's like, that's super exciting. Super excited to see Anderson Silva back and getting a fight right before him. That's that's insane to me, but. Uh, you know, I, I feel like we're both in similar situations, you know, prospects coming up fighting, you know, true veterans. And uh, so I think I'll side with, with Izzy.